this book it is the coolest it's called the adventure challenge couples edition and it's just ideas for different dates and we're going to do one today and share this is a great idea because we're not very adventurous <laughs> so it challenges us and when we do something we do the same thing over and over again our different date ideas with an index of what the symbols mean so you can kind of pick out what's going to be good for you we picked one out at home indoors and you might want to have some snacks then on this date you take a photo of it which, which they send you the polaroid camera she already took a photo that's so good she's so cute and you put your picture on here and then you make a little journal just real quick about what you thought about your date so i'm so excited here we go to date you <laughs> okay so our date is called the helpless baker so we are challenged to bake a homemade pie together with one person blindfolded you know what you're doing well i know how to make pudding <laughs> okay but do you want your cup i think that's about whoa <laughs> that bad <laughs> at least in my mind this is what my pie turned out to look like deb's filling out the book and putting in our polaroid we have made a commitment to do one of these each month head to the adventurechallenge.com use our referral code for 20 percent off this is such a great gift idea for all of the couples that you know this was a blast it was fun I have my smiley face shirt on today because everybody's it's not smiling. On your face. So we put it here. Both a little tired. Are you sore? My arms I'm, are. I'm a little my, sore. My shoulders are a little sore. I but I didn't just sleep very. Sleeping. Yeah, I didn't sleep very well. And the problem is, is I didn't even drink. I know. I don't get it. There's no rhyme or reason to us not sleeping. There is no sun though. I think it's the sun, the sun and no sleeping. That's why we're both a little weary or is that a word? Yeah. Speaking of my smiley face shirt that I got at Gunny Sack, I linked this yesterday. I forgot to tell you, it's the same place where I have, or where I got this jacket that I wear all of the time. I love it. It's lighter weight and it's fleece. I think that's what this is fleece i think it is so cute it's so cute with like a uh, t-shirt jeans and even a legging so i'm gonna link that. i already told you in stories earlier that we we're planning out our veggie garden it's going to be back behind the pond like be way back in the back it's full sun back there and it's right now currently a bunch of weeds but we think this is how we want it like long and skinny um raised garden beds and then maybe a couple of round ones. So we're trying to we're trying to come up with the plan. And I'm actually going to be on Pinterest here in a minute. Those of you who get my newsletter, uh, if you don't, I highly suggest because I talk about a lot of different things um, than I do here. I'll put the link here if you're interested. Um, I mentioned that I am going to wallpaper the bedroom, one of the walls in here. And in the last newsletter, um, I shared what it was going to be, what I was going to use. But I also got a rug. I can't share it now. You didn't do what I said, what I asked you to do. I asked her to pose for a photo with me and she wouldn't. I offered her a treat and she thinks she's gonna get one. <laughs> gave us a fountain a few days ago and I wanted her to pose in front of it so I could show you. Um, but if you missed it, they were getting rid of this fountain that doesn't work, but it's really cool. 
and it is so heavy that we couldn't lift it onto the back of the truck. So Deb had to drive the skid loader down there and we kind of maneuvered it on the skid loader and she drove that home. So I think I'm gonna post those stories here in a little bit. Tell everybody it's my birthday, it's my party. birthday party. How old are you? Four. Four, this is Titus. Just finishing up with all of the um, fountain stories, but I needed to remind you that the homies tour is continuing tonight with Kate and she just posted and she did such a great job. Posted on what to do, like different things to do with your um, planters that you already had for summer and making them into fall. So check her, I think it's a, I think it's a reel. It's not an IG. Today's tour is with MB, which she should have put hers in a highlight. So go check hers. And then Kate's on her stories. Tomorrow is Wesley from Farm Shenanigans. I'm going to tag all of them here. And Thursday is us. We don't even know what we're going to do yet, but we'll figure it out. Be careful. Right. That is that uh, fountain that we got. I've got the other piece in the back of the truck. That piece home and it came in... It came in two pieces, but it ended up breaking in three pieces. It is so heavy, and I think it's probably, do you think it's four foot tall? It's tall. It looks smaller on. At least. It might be five. Yeah, it looks smaller on stories than what it is, but it's probably as tall as we are if you put all the pieces together. Anyway, we got it home, and... Um, I don't know what happened to the video of us unloading it and leaned it up against the tree. I, I have no idea. I've looked everywhere on Deb's phone and mine is nowhere. So I'm gonna start. How to get this 500 pound concrete um, piece here. And I think we've come up with this idea. This is Deb's idea. Um, put, roll it over there and then lean it against the bucket and then she can lower it down. So let's try this. Somebody here. Perfect. <laughs> Two people just showed up.